Jeff, last time I saw you was being lifted out of the water in your boat, being dashed with champagne. Um, yeah, what's happened since? A long time ago, was it now? <laughs> that was September 2007, and um, I've only just about dried out from that experience. A lot's happened since, an awful lot's happened since. Without doubt, 2007, 2008, and just been fantastic. It's been a roller coaster ride, and I'm riding it on the front car, yeah. loving every <laughs> single minute of it. it um, First of all, I've, uh, I decided to set up a lot of motivational talks, and I've done over 60 in the last year already to large corporations, and that's going well. Last December, I decided to write a book called Walking on Water, a voyage around Britain and through life, and it was an autobiography of my life, so that took five, six months to write, and that came out in September, and then, not content with that, I've decided to put together this Atlantic campaign. So. A busy 12 months. So what does the, uh, the new campaign involve? The new campaign involves sailing across the Atlantic. Um, I did it three times when I was a teenager, twice when I was 16 years old. Um, and I'm living off memories. The last 24 years have been just those memories of, of how wonderful an experience it is. Anyone who's sailed the Atlantic will know how insignificant you seem in the middle of it, how beautiful it is, how dark it can be, how bright it can be at night. Um, and I want to go back and do it again. The good news is I won't be doing it in that silly little 14-foot boat. Um, I'll be doing it on a big 60-foot catamaran. I, ideally, in the real, I just would love to do it single-handed. Um, but realistically, I cannot do it single-handed. Not because I can't navigate or sail the boat. The boat's perfectly a, a designed for me to sail. The reason I can't do it is because I can't get myself in and out of a bed. I can't get myself in and out of the shower. So I need someone with me to help with my personal care. So I will be doing it single-handed, unassisted, in all the sailing, but I'll have someone with me to help me. But the boat is just gorgeous. She's called Impossible Dream. 60 foot long, custom built, carbon fibre, um, custom built for a guy in a wheelchair. So it's push button technology, all the electronics, everything. And uh, we aim to leave December next year, so another 12 months. So you've got the boat already? Got the boat. Um, the owner of the boat, the charity who owns the boat, have agreed to um, waive the charter fees, so that's very kind of them, otherwise it would have been 30, 40,000 quid worth of charter fees. Got the boat, she's lying in Malta, she comes back to the UK uh, at the end of April, beginning of May 2009. We haven't got a sponsor yet, we need a sponsor, that's the, uh, the old um, problem that we all have, perennial problem we have as yachtsmen. Um, I'm fairly convinced it's going to happen. I'm just so looking forward to getting back on a big boat, big ocean, and just being a yachtsman again. You know, I, going around Great Britain, I proved all sorts of things to myself. I demonstrated that disability doesn't prevent anyone achieving their, their dreams. And going around Great Britain, of course, 51 stops, 51 places we went to over 109 days. It was the biggest feat of logistics. I don't think people ever really fully understood that. Um, the book goes a long way to explaining it, but the sailing was always only ever going to be the easy bit. The sailing was a, a real pleasure and honour to do. It was the logistics behind all of that planning. If I can do that, then the Atlantic should, touch wood, um, be a bit more straightforward, because there's only one start and one finish. And where will the start be? At the moment, the idea is the Canaries, um, over to the Caribbean, leaving in December, probably after the Ark. The Ark normally leaves November time. I still think that's a bit too early. I want the trades to set in a bit stronger. So I'll probably leave mid to late December. Um, 3,000 miles, three, four weeks. I can make it longer if needs be. My wife's looking forward to a holiday in Antigua. Um, but we've already, we are speaking to someone as a possible sponsor, which would mean sailing from another destination, maybe even Morocco. Um, as long as I get that Atlantic bit over and done with, I don't mind. Well, we look forward to uh seeing you complete yet another amazing adventure. Thank you. You can meet me on the beach in English Harbour. Best of date. That? <laughs> That's a date. Cheers.